How's it going guys? Nozzy here, back with episode 2 of Venter Space Program. Sorry episode 1 was late, I had a few technical difficulties. Um, with YouTube, someone said, oh yeah, you can pause your upload, do this, do this, do that. And I was stupid enough to listen. So, um, that's why that episode's late. Because I have crap internet. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode actually. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Um... It's loading screen time. Sorry I'm not as hyper today. Pardon me. Um just not in the mood. It's twenty to nine at night. I'm tired, ready to go to bed. My holiday is almost over. I've got homework to do. Yeah. Um, but I thought I'd get this recorded so I can render it while I'm sleeping and doing homework. I have a nice Kerbal set. Kerbal Kerbal set. Yeah. Background doing absolutely bugger all um i'm not in the mood i really want to do some stuff with space planes but to have everything planned oh yeah need to show you shut up nosy um sorry i'm not as hyper i will try and make this episode a bit more interesting but um yeah um me and belly bob if you don't know him check him out his channel link is in the description he's only got one video up at the minute but, um, me and him have started a new channel called, um, R-B-K-H-G, well, B-K-H Gaming, which stands for Belly Bob's Nosy Hardcore Gaming. Uh, we haven't uploaded yet, I've just finished doing the intro, we know what we're going to be doing for our first series, we're probably going to do some Trouble in Terrorist Town later on, might do some Minecraft with subs and stuff so yeah back on to ksp as you can see this is not where i originally expected to be that, that's right it's in the south pole of southness and watch this watch this there's a moon there's a moon yeah there's a moon watch this watch the moon watch the moon look at the moon look at the moon Here goes the sun. Bye 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 sun. Where's the moon? Wait, when's night time? Found it. Oh. So it's night time um, for apparently not a very long time. So yeah, we have a radar station. This episode. I said I was going to put a comms around the moon, but we don't need it. We just don't need it. And we don't need that telescope one either. We're just going to go straight out around the moon on um, another episode. This episode, I'm going to be putting some more of these around Kerbin. Some more of these around Kerbin. And, yeah, well... I don't know, actually, what to do. I don't, we don't need a comm satellite. I don't know what I was thinking. We don't need it. Um, I think we could... S we don't... I think I'm just going to go straight out. And just land a man on the moon when I'm in the mood. Well, Friday. Friday is the big day, people. So this episode, 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 episode. I don't actually know what to do. I guess we could send some Kerbals to the North Pole. Yeah, let's send some Kerbals to the North Pole. Why the heck not? We'll plant a flag at the North Pole, and then it will all be good. Right? Yeah, naughty. Um, yeah, let's send some um, Kerbals to the North Pole. Because why the hell not? <coughs> Taste good. We will use this can here. This mini can. Wait. We'll use this one instead then. Or, actually, actually, people. What's this side? Uh, no Kerbal has yet to orbit the Earth. So, that's what I think we'll do this episode. We will send a Kerbal to uh, orbit the earth because we don't know if man 
All right, so, all right. New plan of action. We're working up to Friday, in which we will land a Kerbal on the moon. Up until then, we shall test. Test. That's right, test. Um, we will be doing man space lights to test if man can actually go to the moon. And who other to test this than the one and only, the Holy Jabadiah Kerman. Holy Jabadiah. Jabadiah. We love you, Jab. Wait, do we? Do we love you, Jab? Yeah, you love me. Do we? We love you, Jabadiah. Yeah, we love you. Do we love you, Jab? No, we don't. We all hate you. Go away, Jab. Nobody likes you. Do 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 do. No, I'm only joking. We all love you. Do 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 do. Let's just hope this thing is orbital capable. It should be. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Um. Now Yuri Gagarin's craft was called the Vostok One. I believe that's pronounced right. I'm not sure. This craft shall be called. Kerbal one and my keyboard orientation is messed up because for some reason caps lock is on so I press shift not knowing caps lock is on of course it makes it lowercase and then <coughs> Kerbal one original so yeah remember to go check out BKH gaming I will link it in the description with all the other channels when um well it should be there if it's not if it's not then I then just wait until it is which will definitely be next episode. I don't know what we'll do next episode. Um Oh come on. Oh I forgot. This SAS unit uses power. I think now, and I didn't put any solar panels on. But who cares? Seriously, who actually cares? This actually controls quite well. Better be orbital capable. I don't think it will. If it's not, we can just add more rockets. That's the solution to everything. Do you know what I mean? Let's just send it north. Because I don't think it's going to get into orbit. So I'll send it north because there's more land. It should be. Send it north, shall I? In a polar orbit. It's got to turn that. Yeah, this isn't going to reach all of it. Okay. Where, what's our apparatus? Oh, so close. We will touch the edge of space. Whoa. I could deploy the parachute now, but it'd cut it. I want it to go right up to its apoapsis. Okay, well, it's falling now, but uh, the parachutes aren't going to deploy just yet. It will come down over land, which is luckily, luckily, which is luck, which is good luck. Uh, is there an IVA for this capsule? Oh, that just uses the same one as the. Command pod, my one, minus these big orange pieces. Wait, on the north wall. Wait, are there any re 
Geometry effect. Actually, no, that wouldn't be working. Jeb is falling to the ground at a lot of miles an hour. Do -do 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 we are we on time? No, we're not. Oh, hey, Jeb. That's a nice capsule you have there. It's actually quite a nice capsule. It came with the A AIES mod pack. As I said, my favourite mod pack. Um, that parachute's slowing us down quite a little bit, isn't it? Four thousand. I'm not going to trust. We're coming down in quite a mountainous area, so I d don't think that um, the external altimeter is actually. No, there's no way that external altimeter is right. I'm off! Sorry about that, guys. Um. Sorry about that. Um. Oh, right, so the parachute did deploy... Actually, earlier. Maybe... Maybe that was, um... Let's check the altimeter in the cockpit. While we're in the Whoa! Actually that can go. Six hundred percent. Maybe. That's speed I'm guessing. Actually we can uh, bring this down now, can't we? Let's take this from Jeb's point of view. When that parachute goes red, we'll know we've landed. Gauge graphics are slowly six meters per second. Now, for we are lined up perfectly with the retrograde marker, and we have hit the ground. Whew. Well done, Jeb. You are the first couple to reach the edge of space. Oh, feels good. No, 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 no. Jeb, Jeb, do you want to go for a swim? How far away is the lake? Kerbals can swim. How far away is KSC? Okay, screw this. Revert flight to vehicle assembly. Mm. Sorry if this episode is a bit boring, guys. I'm sorry. I just want to get this this out for you guys. I'm I'm just I'm just a bit down. I don't know why. Um. Me and MC Dobbs had a massive argument earlier, but it's all good now. But uh, I think that's one of the reasons I'm down. Obviously, a bit of a shout out to MC Dobbs here. He's helped me, like, it, he is the reason I'm doing YouTube, uh, I just want to point that out, MC Dobbs actually is the only reason I'm doing YouTube, he inspired me to do YouTube, it's the only reason I do it, is because he inspired me, and like, we had a massive argument earlier about, well, something that's irrelevant to YouTube, but, if you haven't already, go check out his channel, I'm sure you have, he, uh, hit, 60 subscribers today or yesterday um so congratulations to him i'm still on 17 or 18 if you haven't already please subscribe it really would help me as a youtube channel to grow um, yeah I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe subscribe today please if you haven't already if you have I like subscribe I like my subscribers I'm getting trying to get involved with them as much as I can um, if you want to play minecraft with me send me your server IPs or when I hit I, I, I tell you what 
all right here's the thing when i hit 50 subscribers mm -hmm, when i hit 50 subscribers i will do a video where i will publicize my minecraft server for a day and you guys can come on and i will record it and it will be minecraft with subs so for a chance to be on that hit subscribe tell your friends to subscribe and um yeah you can play some minecraft with me and i will uh, post it on the channel it's great to interact with you guys um if it's one way i can interact with my subs it's by um playing minecraft i guess i would really appreciate that if you could subscribe share it with your friends and uh yeah we can uh, have a blast on minecraft It'd be quite fun but anyway that's minecraft this is ksp i will be doing some skyblock as well shortly you need to record that and the g-force dropped Right, over 9,000 actually. I'm trying to increase my uh, velocity of this lateral. Right, we should have an apoapsis that is in orbit. Whoa, the shakiness. That shakiness. Yes, we will reach orbit, people. I hope. We're not going to reach orbit. Oh no. Please reach orbit, please reach orbit, please reach orbit, please reach orbit. We have reached orbit. Jebediah Kerman, the first Kerbal in space, even in my permadeath. He was the first Kerbal to reach space. Woohoo! Yeah, Jeb is digging that shiz. And he's still rising, so uh, let's give him a uh, little wash of water. Yeah, you're spinning, Jeb. How you like me now? How you like me? How you like me? How you like me now, Jeb? Yeah, and we'll point you towards the ground just so you can look at Kerbin while you're floating through space. Or, or you can point at space. Either, either. You were the first Kerbo, Jeb. Look back on the KSC, Jeb. Look back at it like you've never looked back at something before down there you're home from home even though there's no towns and cities on Kerbin but k the KSC do you live at the KSC job? wouldn't surprise me if you did to be fair look at that now Yuri Gagarin leaves sound sung a very a uh, patriotic song during his space flight i don't know what it's called but i know it has the lyrics i believe the motherland sees the motherland knows I believe if you're russian and watching this um i'm sorry if if that's not the lyrics but from memory from watching the documentary on the space race I believe it's what i've just said if it's not um don't please don't take offense Look at the KSC. Uh, Kerbal speak backwards Spanish. I can't even speak Spanish, let alone backwards Spanish. So yeah, I'm not gonna try singing some random Kerbal anthem. Look at the launch pad there, Jeb. Wait, what? Why are we? Wait, what? I am now officially scared. What's our? Whoa! Flipping out. Where's the KSC gone? Where's the KSC? Oh, it's over there. Uh, retrograde apparently is all the way up here, so let's go here. Jeb, you're falling incredibly fast, dude. Um, oh, don't tell me I missed the re-entry effects, because I was talking about Russia. God damn it, I missed the re-entry effects. This is why I don't talk. Okay, this has been a very boring episode. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm just 
don't know, I'm just having a bad day. Um, make my day. Well, it's nine o'clock at night, so make my day and subscribe. Please subscribe, guys. Um, so yeah, as I said, if I reach a hundred subscribe, when I reach a hundred subscribers, all of my subscribers can come and um, play Minecraft with me on my server, and I will record it and it post it on the channel. But uh, yeah. Oh, we need some screenshots, don't we? Flipping up. Thumbnail, thumbnail, or thumbnail. I think we'll go for. Oh, that's cool. Thumbnail sorted, lads. Wait, we landed? No. I want to see the landing from the outside this time. And without a altimeter. Dun 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 Why am I playing this? I can just put it in the video. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it in the video. Success He says as his game crashes. I mean we've glitched out and landed somehow landed in the floor, but um Yeah. So, um, mm, flipping, flipping quickly. Space Center. Ah, just reach down and casually get my iPad charger. And uh, put my iPad on to ch flipping off. Dropped it. And uh, in. actually, I could just recover Jeb, but that would be far too easy. I'm going to send out a UAV to recover him. <laughs> actually, no, that's too much work. Oh god, I, I haven't got time. Oh, I need to edit this, and I've only got half an hour. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind. I will just have to recover Jeb the boring way. Guys, I'm really sorry this has been a boring episode. Um, I won't be surprised if it gets dislikes. It's incredibly boring. I don't feel very well. Next episode... What was that? Um, next episode... I, I might just go to the moon next episode, you know. I don't know. I might li actually... Next episode, I will probably put the moon scanner orbiter in orbit. But, um, and I will recruit the crew to go to, um, the moon. So, uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's been a pleasure to make this, even though it's probably incredibly boring. But thanks for watching, and, um, I'll see you next time.